Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Thank you so much for being a viewer. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I want you to know that I appreciate you. This is a very tough time for many of us in the country. I can tell you that almost 69 million of our fellow Americans voted for the president. So in case you're thinking, you know, it's great that former Vice President Joe Biden won. And, you know, if you're happy that President Trump didn't win, remember that there are 69 million of our fellow Americans who are upset because they voted for President Trump. If on the other hand, you're a President Trump supporter and, uh, you know, you and you're one of those 69 million Americans, you know, you probably feel hosed right now. In fact, let me give you the exact numbers right now. We show that uh, President Trump uh, won 69,813,208 ,000, votes. So, you know, that's almost half of the voting block. And uh, former Vice President Joe Biden, and I will, I just want to be clear that uh, it does look like former Vice President Joe Biden is going to be President-elect Joe Biden. And so, uh, you know, um, former Vice President Joe Biden did win 73 million 767,163 votes. So again, if you support the president, uh, you know, again, you probably feel like you got hosed. And I've had some comments uh, from our viewers and subscribers. Uh, one of our viewers and subscribers said, hey, am I going to talk about uh, fraud in the election? Am I going to talk about election meddling? And um, my position towards this, I just want to be clear with our viewers and subscribers is that I will report whatever the courts say. It is not for me to decide and it's not for me to comment on whether there is meddling in the election. Uh, I am simply a citizen journalist, so I'm not going to comment about that. What I am going to comment about is what votes, uh, what the courts say, what the courts decide. If this goes to the Supreme Court, you know, they, they, you know, they are the law of the land. That is what I'm going to report on. Keep in mind that when President Trump won in 2016, he did win many states by razor thin margins, you know, a few thousand votes. And that's exactly what's happening here. And, you know, just as I didn't question President Trump's victories in 2016 by razor thin margins, I am going to make the decision not to question the results of this election. And, you know, if uh, President Trump's uh, uh, side feels that, you know, there were some shenanigans, then, you know, they're welcome to take it up in the courts. They, they're well within their rights to do that. And depending on what the courts decide, depending on, you know, the chain of evidence and what's what's presented and what the judges decide, that is what I'm going to report on the channel. I know this is a very tough time. This is a very raw subject. And to be honest, it would have been much easier for me not to talk about this and simply report the news and talk about stimulus and talk about the control of the House and the Senate or even, uh, you know, um, or even take a shot at President Trump for his press conference last night or take a shot at former Vice President Joe Biden. Those are the easy things to do. Uh, what we do here on this channel and trying to sort of walk the line and be balanced and be respectful of both sides is not is not an easy thing to do so hopefully you can appreciate our position it's much easier much easier i promise you to criticize someone it's much easier to take sides for us it's not about the red or the blue it's about the red white and blue i'm not democrat i'm not republican i am american we are all americans first i actually think of our democracy as something that is very sensitive that is very fragile yet something that is very powerful that is my personal opinion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, from the point of view of the election results, I'm going to consider this right now at the time I'm recording this video. It appears that former Vice President Joe Biden's lead exists in Arizona and Georgia has actually extended. His lead has extended in Nevada and Pennsylvania. Keep in mind that if former Vice President Joe Biden ends up winning Arizona, Nevada, Pennsylvania, as well as uh, as well as Georgia, which, by the way, I want to I want my viewers and subscribers to understand that Georgia was like an exclamation mark, like, whoa, uh, because, you know, Georgia has been, you know, has been traditionally red for a long, long time. I believe it's 28 years. The two Senate uh, races in Georgia are projected to go to a runoff. I know one of them is already going to a runoff. I do believe the other one's going to a runoff, uh, a, a, a second, another race, if you will in early January, which means that the control of the Senate actually hangs in the balance on those races. So uh, we can expect a couple of hundred million dollars to be thrown at those races. But what I'm trying to say is that if former Vice President Joe Biden wins Georgia, wins Pennsylvania, wins Arizona, wins Nevada, he will end up with 306 electoral college votes. You need 270 to win. Now, do you know uh, what was President Trump's electoral college vote count in 2016? It was 306. So this is uh, interesting. Uh, let, let me be clear. This is not a blue wave. 
Okay, uh, as a lot of individuals were projecting, I was telling my wife it was a, a, a blue grind <laughs> and she said it was a purple grind and I'm like, you're right as usual. Uh, but as far as the, the Democrats are concerned, there's been a lot of pushback, a lot of fallout amongst uh, the, in, in, within, the, uh, within the Democratic Party as well. There were individuals yelling, uh, there were individuals cursing on a call yesterday, there were individuals crying on a call yesterday. So there, there has been quite a fallout and um, the, the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi does want to continue to remain House Speaker. Uh, she has indicated that. But, you know, at this point, the way things stand right now, again, former Vice President Joe Biden has taken a lead in Pennsylvania. Uh, he is on the verge of the presidency. Now, I know a lot of our viewers and subscribers said, you know, wait for the election results. Uh, wait for the uh, wait for the results to get certified. You know, the, the, uh, so you are correct. We have to wait for them to get certified. But the count is in. You know, the people have spoken. I want to be clear. I want to be respectful of uh, of all our viewers and subscribers, including the almost 69 million Americans who voted for President Trump. I want to be respectful, uh, but but uh, I want to make sure that I report on what the courts report, not on on you know I, i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to report something that essentially uh, identifies issues that that the courts haven't ruled on because it's not my job uh, to report on uh, those types of issues it is the court's responsibility to evaluate the evidence and make a judgment and i'll be i'll be sure to present that to you for sure right now i'm reporting on what the states have reported which is which is clear for all of us to see Former Vice President Joe Biden has taken a lead in Pennsylvania. Our presidency is in sight. His lead in Pennsylvania is growing. And he also leads in Georgia, Nevada, and he also leads in Arizona. In fact, many news, uh, many news desks, including Fox, uh, I believe it was almost uh, three days ago now. I believe it was on uh, the night of the election, November 3rd. Uh, Fox called Arizona for President Trump, and there's been a lot of controversy about that. Jared Kushner ended up calling Rupert Murdoch. You know the the <laughs> the the owner of Fox and a lot of the aides of the president actually uh, tried to get the Fox decision reversed, but Fox stood by it. And what's interesting is that at the time I'm recording this, uh, uh, not many others have actually called Arizona for the president. But I think I do believe that based on the data we're seeing right now, it does look like more and more news stations will start to call the elections uh, for for former Vice President Joe Biden. Again, I understand if you're a supporter of the president, you probably feel hosed right now but uh, this is where things stand right now so based on the newest uh, newest uh, dump of polls if you will the the ballot uh, the ballot results from arizona uh, they uh, they represent that president trump is not gathering enough votes in order to be able to overtake former vice president joe biden so former vice president joe biden is also expanding his lead in nevada and i want to be clear that the georgia secretary of state did say that there will be a recount given how close the margins are so that's where things stand right now decision desk headquarters actually already called pennsylvania uh, for former vice president joe biden and declared him the president elect so that was already done at 8 50 a.m east coast time this morning and i want to be clear that president uh, president elect biden is what i'm going to refer to him as unless the courts rule otherwise because you know the the the, the numbers are there President-elect Biden is expected to speak uh, at prime time tonight. Now, I know that when I say President-elect Biden, a few of our viewers and subscribers uh, don't like it and they bring up raw emotions. But look, guys, I'm a citizen journalist. Don't blame the messenger. Don't blame the messenger. I'm uh, I'm recognizing and I'm trying to respect uh, those who, who feel you know that they've uh, you know they've lost their leader i don't think by the way i don't think president trump's going anywhere uh, president trump's going to be right here probably you know he's going to be tweeting he's going to be his his influence on the republican party is strong because the president you know did did get uh, the president was able to muster up a lot of support uh, down ballot uh, and the president did talk about that in his press conference last night so i don't think the president's going anywhere but it does look like uh, we have President-elect uh, Joe Biden based on where things are headed now. It's just a matter of time at the time I'm recording this video. In fact, by the time you watch this video, the race could already be called. So again, uh, former Vice President Joe Biden, I, you know, it's, it's very natural for me to say former Vice President Joe Biden because I've been saying that for so long. But President-elect Biden is going to speak at prime time tonight. And uh, it does look like it's a done deal. And uh, they're going to start to, uh, you know, they're going to start to focus on the transition team right now. The big question is, is there going to be a stimulus relief package? Will there be a stimulus relief package with the, uh, with the new dynamics, if you will, in Washington? House Speaker Pelosi did conduct extensive negotiations with Secretary Steve Mnuchin. Uh, the offer was $1.9 which uh, didn't go anywhere. <clears throat> and uh, 
uh, Mnuchin wanted to strike a deal with House Speaker Pelosi and he was actually called Washington's most eager man. Um, and I'll give you some new comments and some new uh, input that just came in from Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Uh, our team is organizing the data for me right now. So I'll put that together for you and release that in the next video. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I want you to know that uh, I'm on your side, uh, whether you're red, whether you're blue. Uh, we are all Americans and we will always be Americans first. Thank you so much for watching. This is some information about me. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. If you learned something new, please click like, please subscribe, please enable notifications. That's your vote of confidence in us and that helps out the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. I'm going to look forward to seeing you in the next video at Ignition Time. Talk to you soon. Bye.